One of the biggest things that differentiates all of the different handheld gaming devices we have right now, such as the Steam Deck, the ROG Ally, the Legion Go, although they're all different in terms of hardware and design, one of the main things that determines what kind of experience you're going to have on one of these devices is the operating system. I want to talk about five reasons why Linux is actually the superior operating system for these handheld gaming devices. So as someone who's had both the Steam Deck and the ROG Ally, I can say that I chose Windows 11 for my preferred operating system, but there's many reasons why Linux is actually the better operating system if you just want a purely games experience with one of these handhelds. I would say deciding on which operating system you want to use is probably one of the most important factors when choosing your handheld gaming device. One of the main problems that Windows-based handheld gaming devices have that the Steam Deck doesn't really have is that it's very tightly under control from Microsoft. Microsoft has a very tight grip over it, so even though it is an amazing operating system and you can do a lot with it, it's not exactly a super open piece of software that lets you customize it in any way you want to. It's not like a super open garden. It's actually kind of a closed garden if you want to talk about gardens. And it's not open source in the same way that Linux is. And the problem is Windows 11 wasn't really designed from the ground up to be used on these tiny handheld devices. And people were saying, well, many people are saying that there's software problems and love glitches and annoying annoying usage situations when it comes to the Legion Go and RG Ally because it's running on Windows 11, an operating system that wasn't really designed with these miniature handhelds. And there's a reason why people are saying that they're having much better and much smoother and more user-friendly experiences with the Steam Deck. And that's because it runs on SteamOS, an operating system built from the ground up by Valve's engineers to be able to run Linux on the Steam Deck flawlessly and super efficiently. And this is only possible thanks to Linux being open source. You wouldn't be able to do this with Windows. My Microsoft would never allow Valve to fiddle with the source code of Windows and create their own version of Windows just so it can run on the Steam Deck. Microsoft just doesn't let people have that kind of freedom and is more controlling over its software. So although you might be able to say that yes, the Steam Deck and the Steam Deck OLED hardware is kind of lacking in a certain luster compared to these more powerful Windows-based handheld devices, but Steam Deck and the Steam Deck OLED has one thing that these other Windows-based handhelds do not have, and that is the Steam OS. The Steam OS is very good. It's very efficient and optimized for playing games on the Steam Deck. There's many games that run really well on the Steam Deck and don't run very well on non-Steam Deck gaming devices, and that's purely because the operating system is just not optimized to play those games on the Windows-based handheld devices in the same way that Steam OS is built from the ground up to play games specifically on the Steam Decks. And it's purely thanks to this custom made Linux version of the Linux OS built from the ground up by Valve's engineers that the Steam Deck's able to boast better optimization and battery efficiency when playing some of these games. You might be able to have more graphics and higher graphical fidelity on the RG Ally or the Legion Go or the GDP WinMax 2, but can they play games for like four to six hours with very good smooth frame rates without any crashing or weird bugs or glitches because of the software. I don't think they can say that in the same way that the Steam Deck and the Steam Deck OLED can say that. You can say as a counter argument that the ROG Ally and the Legion Go have things like Armory Crate and Legion Space, but they're just like band-aids placed over Windows to make for a better handheld experience. So there's been some interesting comparisons. For example, you can install Windows on the Steam Deck. There's nothing stopping you from side booting or side loading Windows onto the Steam Deck. And people have done some experiments where they played a game such as Elden Ring on both Windows and the Steam OS on the Steam Deck. And actually Elden Ring ran way better when it was playing on the Steam OS on Linux because Linux just has way less overheads and uses way less power and it's just way more efficient than trying to play on Windows on a device that's not really built from the ground up to be able to play games on Windows. And then we have the desktop experience. So when you're using the ROG Ally, you can't really use it without using the desktop because you're basically using a laptop or a PC. It is for all reasons intended. It is a PC built into the body of a Game Boy or like a handheld gaming device. So you're gonna have a desktop computer experience on this handheld. And a lot of people don't like that. They don't want to have to manage or fiddle around with windows and folders and files and like windows button and control alt delete. They don't wanna to have to deal with that on a tiny seven inch screen when all you have to control it 
is the touchscreen and the thumbsticks and the buttons. You might not have a mouse and keyboard nearby when you're traveling and out on the go when you're playing on your RG Ally. This isn't really a problem with the Steam Deck because running Steam OS, although there is a desktop mode hidden behind all of the fanciness, you don't actually have to ever use the desktop mode. People can just comfortably browse Steam, download Steam games, launch and close Steam games without ever having to see the ugly desktop or having to use the trackpads to fiddle around with desktop controls. So I guess it kind of depends what you want it for. If you want a desktop experience and you don't have a main computer or a laptop and you want to use ROG Ally as your all-in-one device for gaming and also computing, then maybe you prefer the ROG Ally with Windows 11. But if you already have a computer or a desktop or other laptops and you only want the Steam Deck for purely gaming, you're never going to use it as a computer or even touch things like a web browser or file management system, you don't have to. The Steam OS is really a great advantage of the Steam Deck and it really creates a very streamlined user experience if all you want it for is for playing handheld games. With Steam OS, you don't have to worry about drivers. Now, this was something I actually had a problem with on the ROG Ally. A lot of my games didn't work. For example, Starfield wouldn't work. Some other game wouldn't work. I couldn't even play video files because it kept saying format not supported, even though it was just MP4. I had to go and download individually and manually download all these different drivers just so I could get this thing to run properly and it was kind of annoying and fiddly and depending on what kind of device you have it might be more fiddly you might have to go to different websites click on links download files upgrade it and up load it and install all the files and drivers and you don't really have this problem with the steam deck it just kind of all runs out of the box and the steam os manages any kind of drive updates you need automatically and you don't have to go into the browser and download files and like do all that fiddly stuff it just does it all for you so you don't really have to worry about driver updates with steam os and that's another great thing about linux I think Windows has introduced a brand new Xbox Gaming Pass handheld gaming mode. So I think when we get some software tweaks from Microsoft to eventually realize that these handheld devices are here to stay and they're extremely popular and they're in high demand. I think when they start realizing that more and start creating a more user-friendly experience like the Steam OS has, then maybe these Windows handheld devices will be able to match the Steam Deck in terms of usability as a software. But for now, it seems like Linux does have a lot of advantages over being used for handheld gaming over Windows 11. So for those reasons, I actually still prefer Windows 11 just because, because I can do more stuff on it, I guess.